Researchers at Georgia Tech are trying to invent a new technique to save lives. They're looking for reservoirs of the HIV virus in the body that might one day help lead to the eradication of the disease. That's just a sample of what's going on there. And Public Affairs Director Jocelyn Dorsey went one-on-one -on -one with the chairman of the Biomedical Engineering Department of Georgia Tech to find out more. Jocelyn. Fred and Linda, it was the annual Metro Atlanta Chamber of Commerce meeting that I attended where I discovered the revolutionary work going on between Georgia Tech and Emory University School of Medicine. Curiosity led me to my one-on-one -on -one with the man who gave the speech, chairman of the Wallace H. Coulter Department of Georgia Tech's Biomedical Engineering Department, Professor Ravi Belamkanda. It's really an amazing story because it's a partnership between a public university like Georgia Tech, a fantastic engineering school, and a private medical school. So there are three kinds of magical things happening, if you don't mind. One, there's some incredible research going on here with engineers and technology in the service of medicine and unmet clinical needs, along with Children's Hospital, Emory School of Medicine, the VA, and other partners. And this includes research and in how the brain works and when it's injured, how do we repair it, how, how to treat brain tumors and, uh, and de develop new nanotechnology and medicines to selectively treat brain tumors in children especially, how to design and build new heart valves and understand atherosclerosis and how, uh, you know, how the arteries get clogged up and how blood flow and mechanics play a role in that how pediatric bioengineering where we want to make new technology to help children and we recognize that children are not just small adults that we need to develop technology for children that possibly grows with them as they grow older minimizing surgery and things and lastly this new field we're inventing here called immunoengineering where we want to harness the immune system develop technologies to modulate it so we get healing instead of scarring so we can use the immune system to heal cancer instead of using chemotherapy wouldn't it be nice if our own immune system found small cancers and and took care of business without us having to give toxic medicine so in all these areas we have some incredible research going on so that's that's one one main thing um, the second thing is we have an exceptional program in training and educating just incredibly talented students of all kinds we have more women than men for the first time in Georgia Tech's history in our department, uh, in, in, for any department in the College of Engineering. And um, it is very special to have a truly highly ranked, number one, number two, number three ranked program uh, in a public university that is accessible to a student profile that perhaps it's not so easy for them to access a private Ivy League uh, you know, university in the Northeast or in California. You know, when students come to Georgia Tech and, and meet with our faculty who are the finest scholars from the world, you know, all the doors that might be open to them paying two times, three times the tuition elsewhere <laughs> are still open to our students, citizens of Georgia right here, and that is really exceptional. The last thing that's very special about us, I think, is that we're very interested not just in writing a paper and going to conferences and giving talks, we do that, but we also want to impact our economy and have things go to the clinic. And so our faculty were named after Wallace Coulter, uh, who was an inventor. He invented the Coulter machine that is used to count particles in blood. So this legacy and this spirit in the department is to make things move forward, push them to help a child, a patient, as quickly as possible start companies to, to help create jobs. And so all this comes together and I'm really blessed <laughs> to be at such a great place.